Yeah, hello everyone, it's your girl New. And if you're new here, welcome! My name is New RidiX, and I make content on basically whatever I want to do in the heat of the moment. And so for today's video, I've decided to make a guide for AFK grinding carnival tickets for the current Wild Horse Islands Summer Event 2024. So for this tutorial, you are gonna need to follow exactly everything I do because if you encounter any issues from not following the tutorial properly, I will be unable to help you since um this is exactly how i do it if you defer from how i do it it you may get different results which may be harder for me to help you fix those errors <laughs> but just to be safe please 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 follow everything i do to a t anyways to start things off you are gonna be needing three softwares so in order to get these three softwares just go ahead and go down to the description of this video and check out the funky links i've linked in the description disclaimer this tutorial is only useful for uh windows i don't use mac and i don't know the comp compatibility of this guide with mac users and i do not play uh, wild horse islands on mobile or roblox in general on mobile so this tutorial will not be useful for mobile players anyways anywho anyhow let me show you guys what softwares you are going to be needing so i'm going to go ahead and jump on over here you the first software you're going to need is op auto clicker 3.0 so you're going to go ahead and go to the first link that is in the uh, description it will be this link the op auto clicker <clears throat> i know the image here says 2.1 and then it, um doesn't really like it says version 1.0.0.2 yada 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 but when you download it it will actually say version 3.0 so you're gonna go ahead and click this funky download button and it will direct you here to this site which says auto clicker so you're gonna go ahead and press download i actually already downloaded it as you can see <laughs> i downloaded it multiple times because i kept retaking this video but anyway i'm not, I'm not gonna save that as you can see, it'll look exactly like this. This is the name. Um, if, you, if the name exactly says this, then you got the right software. And the next item or <laughs> next software you're going to be needing is the OP Auto Clicker version 4.0. So that will be the second link that I will be linking down in the, the description. For some reason, it's called GS Auto Clicker, but when you open it, it literally just says OP Auto Clicker version 3.0 if i'm not mistaken hold on yeah it literally just says op auto clicker 4.0 but anyways you're gonna go ahead to this website called gs auto clicker and you're gonna press this funky button that says download when you press download it will bring you to this website um you're just gonna close this and you're gonna scroll down to this funky button here and you're gonna press download this will basically give you uh, OP Auto Clicker version 4.0. As you can see, I already downloaded it here, so I'm not gonna save it again. It's as you already know, it's just gonna. This is gonna be the name. This is gonna be the general name of it. GS dash Auto Click dash Auto dash Clicker dash 4 dash 0. If you got that correct, then you are. Uh, you already have two out of the three items that you need here. So we have Auto Clicker 3.0, GS Auto Clicker 4-0. And the final thing that you're going to be needing is something called Auto Hotkey. Now, for Auto Hotkey, you're going to go ahead and go to the final link that I have linked in the description. Anyways, you're just going to press download and you're going to download the latest dashboard because um, it looks more easier to navigate. This is what the dashboard would look like once you're done setting it up. Uh, in order to set it up, it's, you're just going to go ahead and go. It's going to look like this. When you download it, it's going to look like that. So I'll, I'm just going to do this real quick just to show you. I have so many of these copies, but yeah, it's going to say auto hotkey uh, underscore 2.0.18 underscore setup. So once you have that, you're just going to run it and you're just going to install the, the thing as you normally would. It'll look like this. Just press install. I already did this so I can skip this. I'm just going to close this. And what it's going to look like is basically like this gonna look like this auto hotkey dash if you have this you're good to go so now you have these three items you have op auto clicker version 4.0 this is basically this you have op auto clicker 3.0 
this is basically this. And then the final thing that you will have is auto hotkey. This looks like this. All right, so the first thing you want to set up is your auto clickers. Now, take a look at this notepad here. The uh, 4.0 will be the uh, auto clicker that you're going to be using to click. 3.0 is going to be the auto clicker that you're using to record your set of movements and uh, hotkeys. Now, auto hotkeys is going to be what you use to loop. So we can do this at the very end. For now, let's set up our auto clickers. I'm going to go ahead to Roblox over here and I'm going to put auto clicker 4.0 here. So you want to test out the uh, you're just going to use 4.0 to click, right? So in order to test out the clicks, I usually just do click type double, mouse button, make sure it's left, and then 100 milliseconds is completely fine. Repeat until stop. And then you're going to go ahead and choose a hotkey setting to um, start the... the uh, the whole clicking. So for 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 now it's F6. So uh, let's go ahead and test it out. I'm gonna press E to play. Currently playing. Now I'm gonna go ahead and press F6, and it is doing the clicking perfectly. Boom! 182 tickets. So now I'm gonna press F6 again, and it stopped. <laughs> Now your OP Audio Clicker 4.0 is complete. You can put this aside. Now the next thing is your OP Audio Clicker 3.0 to record. What does this mean? What does to record mean? So let me explain. You're going to press record and playback on your OP Audio Clicker 3.0. Record and playback. Okay. Now go ahead to your options. Go to playback, go to speed, and make sure the speed is set to 1. Gonna press ok once it's at one you're gonna go to recording gonna go to options make sure all of these are ticked and um, activated like this like so don't leave any uh, empty make sure that select all of them press ok and then afterwards you're gonna go to your hotkeys to decide which one you're gonna be using this is really important if you don't have a numpad, I know a lot of people don't have a numpad, so I'm going to make it easier for you guys. I'm going to change my, my hotkey to F7 and record stop F, F8, right? So my record is F8, my play is F7. I'm going to press OK. So it's just to test, I'm going to press F8 right now and you can see it's recording. So if I do spacebar, spacebar and then I'll press F8 again to stop recording and I'll press F7 to test. It should do exactly what I just did without me having to do anything. Right, this should mean that it is working. So this is just a test, not to actually set up the recording. What you want to record is basically a set of movements to constantly loop the fact that you are doing this entire thing, this entire activity. So, first things first, make sure that you are clicked into your Roblox windows. Don't like click here and then start recording. Don't click here and then start recording, no. Click into your Roblox windows. Tap on the hotkey that you set for recording. Mine is F8. I will now go for F8. It is now recording. What I want to do next is I will press E to play. And then I'll immediately press F6 to auto click. It is currently recording all these actions. I'll just leave it to be. It's constantly doing this. Now that it's hit the gong, I'll press F6 again. And then I'll press F8 to complete the recording. So now we're going to test that recording and see if it works. I'm going to go ahead and press F7. It is now playing. So it should activate the E to play. It's not activating. I'm not doing anything. I'm not touching anything. It's now going to press the F6 to click. Right now, I'm literally just sitting away, hands up. I'm just talking to the mic. Everything currently is automated. So this is done. Your clicking is ready. Your recording is ready. The final thing you need is auto hotkey in order to loop because neither of these apps are 
are able to repeat on interval. One of them can, but it doesn't have keyboard recording. The other one can't, but it has keyboard recording. Therefore, you need a third-party software. Remember, this is my method. This is how I do it and how I find most comfortable doing it. And this is the most safest method for me. The softwares are confirmed not to have any like issues with them so far for me. No viruses, no, no um, Windows security uh, notifications. They work perfect for me and I like it like that. So I will keep using this method. So moving on, we're going to need our auto hotkey. So now we have our auto hotkey dash. What you're going to do is you're going to press new script. I am just going to rename this as for this guide <laughs> for you guys. You're going to choose empty, clean slate, and you're going to press create. Now it's going to create it. It will automatically open the folder, which will show you your um, scripts are available. I already did like a bunch over here because I was testing. So I'm going to open for this guide. What you're going to do is you're going to right click and select edit script right now it should be empty and if it's not empty select anything that's in there delete it and make sure it is empty for this part you are going to need to go into my <clears throat> description my video description and grab the script that i've already prepared in the description it should be this script right here from hashtag persistent all the way until return Make sure you copy this exactly the way it is, the spacing, the, 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 the way it should be spaced out, like so, like so, it should all be exactly like this. Alright, now that you have this pasted into the script that you're going to be using, you are going to have to set the timer. This is going to be the interval, aka the break between loops. Currently in this script, I've set it to 30 seconds because I'm going to go ahead and run a timer because I need, in order to you to find out how long your uh, entire process of playing and clicking takes and then you want to loop in between that. What I usually do is I'll go on my phone and I'll turn on my stopwatch and then I'll play the playback of the recording. Should be F7, play. I'll play the playback of the recording. I'll take note of the, um, the, the length that it's taking to complete all of this. Until the, uh, until this, the, 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 the playback becomes like this and you can move your mouse again then I will go ahead and see how long that took it took about 32 seconds for me because I had a bunch of delays while I was trying to explain everything so that's completely fine I'm gonna go ahead and go over here and I set 32 seconds right so here I'll change it to 2 so now this will be 32 seconds afterwards we're gonna we're gonna adjust this part this has to be set to the hotkey that you decided for your um, playback. For my playback for OP Auto Clicker 3, the hotkey is F7. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it as F7. Now I will go ahead and save. This should be completely ready and completely prepared. I'm just going to close it. We're going to go back to the folder where the, the new script should be. This is the script, auto hotkey script. And you get this sort of pop-up that says, It looks like the script you are trying to run requires auto hotkey version 1, which is not installed. If the version has been misidentified, please add a hashtag requires directive to your script file. Script, you know, the name of the script file, rule v1 cmd. So if you get this pop-up, just uh, download it because you actually do need v1.1 as the script I'm providing is a script for the old version but because it works pretty well I don't bother changing it and I I didn't make the script so I don't want to mess around with it until it's unusable even for me so just press yes press yes and you'll know it's installed or downloaded once you see this auto hotkey v1.1 is now installed just press ok and now press 
click on the uh, run run the file that you want it to run again so here for this guide and if i open here then it should be running it should work by now it should load exactly everything you're just gonna have to wait 30 seconds it's usually gonna be like 30 seconds for 32 seconds once after 30 32 seconds have passed it will start basically doing <clears throat> what you want it to do which is to play this so this can play the recording of the set of movements that we just did including the uh, clicker here so right now it played look i did not do anything it's automating it still not doing anything I am literally just watching this happen right now. And if you time it correctly, it should constantly uh, loop it as soon as you're done playing. Right now, see? As soon as it was done playback, it started playing again. Which means this loop will constantly ru ru run uh, for as long as you want it to run. What I like to do is I like to add a few extra seconds into the script in case i want to stop it because sometimes if the loop uh the loop of the sequences is too close to when it starts and ends it's going to be hard for you to turn the script off so what i like to do is i'll add maybe about three seconds extra so i'll make this into 35 seconds then i will save it so that when i run it when i run this thingy it's running right now. When I run this thingy, it's, you can see here it's running. Uh, once it's done playing the loop, I'll have at least 3 seconds extra to go down here. Press that. Right click that. And then exit or pause. Usually I pause and then later I'll play it again. But if you follow all that correctly, you should get it right. Right? I only got 21,000 per hour. And I was AFK for about 20 hours. And look at that. It's more or less the amount I should have, I, I got, more or less. There could be other things like delays, uh, or I stopped it earlier, or it was actually 19 hours. I don't know, I don't know. Uh, so yeah, I hope this is really helpful. Make sure you use a draft horse with strength 90, uh, and make sure the strength is trained. And um, yeah, that's about it, I guess. I hope you have fun. And I hope you understood my guide or how my tutorial is useful. And yeah, as far as I know, Trick does allow uh, auto clickers for Wild Horse Islands. And the auto hotkey software has nothing to do with Wild Horse Islands itself. The auto, the auto hotkey software is being used to manipulate the auto clicker, which the auto clicker is used to on the roblox software itself so technically the auto hotkey is has nothing to do with roblox it will not affect anything it should be completely fine because you're not using the auto hotkey in any way to affect roblox you're just using it to turn your auto clicker on and off like a switch so it should be completely fine and i genuinely hope that you find this tutorial useful if there are any questions i will try my best to answer them if i have the time and i'll see you guys in the next video happy grinding good luck grinding i hope everybody who watches this video gets an event iuh or an iuh or all the pure wildcock coats for all the event coats available in this event to, uh for summer i'll see you guys next time this has been your girl new signing out make sure to subscribe if this was helpful